Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn how to write a Python program to evaluate the sum of series that is 1 plus x1 divided by 1 plus x2 divided by 2 plus x3 divided by 3 plus dot 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 and plus xn divided by n. So this is a series that is it can be elaborated as 1 plus 1 divided by x divided by 1 then plus x raised to power of 2. So this is a power series where you raise a x raised to power of that is a value of 1 to n. So this is the series that I'll assume and let's try to solve this. So here I need uh, the values that is let me remove this. Yeah and uh, i need two values that is n and the value of x so let's take value of n that is a variable and let's use input function call and let's say enter value of n yeah so let's ask a user to enter the value of n so and then finally convert this to an integer so the value of n will be stored in n so now let's uh, take another variable that is x equals to i need the value of x so let's use input function call and let's say enter capital enter value of x yeah so again convert these to an integer so let's convert this as well so now we get the value of x and n so now what we have to do is we have to t calculate the sum of series so let me take another variable that is total equals to 1 so because this 1 i am already taking so now i need to calculate the remaining series that is this so yeah so let's use for loop to traverse up to 1 to n so for uh, let's say temp so i will be taking temp to traverse up to 1 to n so temp value will be 1 temp value will be 2 3 up to n so now for temp in let's say range that is i have already taken value of 1 so i need to start from 1 so let's take uh, that is 1 to n plus 1 because i have to calculate the outbound value as well so if generally give you if if you give generally as n so it will calculate up to n minus 1 only and it doesn't go through n value so in order to for any programming language in order to travel up to n so you have to give n plus 1 because it will evaluate from 0 so that is a mistake people will do so you have to use n plus 1 over here yes once that is done so let's take total that is a variable total equals to let's say total plus the series that is uh, i have to calculate the value that is x raised to power of 1 here so in order to do that so let's take x and raise it to power of that is a temp x raised to power of temp will give me the value that is this or you can say this part and you have to divide this by temp yeah so this is the implementation of uh, particularly this or uh, this you can say if you individually take it so this is how it works x raised to power of uh, that is a temp divided by temp so total will be stored in the this variable yeah so once that is done so let's print it that is a sum of series is a, let's give colon and let's say percentage this is in floating point 0.2 f and here let me give percentage that is total yeah so this is a complete implementation of evaluation that is evaluating the sum of series 
so this is this is my series so let me execute this and let's see how it works so enter the value of n so let's give 10 and enter the value of x let's give 3 so you can see that sum of series is 9432.30 now let me re-execute it now let's give us n as 20 and x as 10 so you can see that sum of series is this big number yeah so this is the complete program to evaluate sum of series that's it in this video hope you liked it thank you for watching bye